Got a lot of good work done today. Got a lot of work to do yet. What are you seeing your two uh, new guys, uh, Swanger and uh, Deion Jordan? Well, Deion's not here yet. There's another NFL rule that prohibits him to be here until tomorrow, so I don't know yet. Uh, his first practice will be Wednesday. We uh, had several periods post-practice today for guys like Will Compton, uh, DJ Swearinger, some of our young linemen to uh, get familiarized with what we want done. So it's a good start. Uh, it's going to be a tough assignment for us, obviously. Carl, I mean, obviously been playing pretty well. The last, the last couple of games. How, just how hard to lose a guy like him? It's hard. You know, it's hard. You know, you've already lost your, your middle linebacker. Now you lose your second safety and you lose your nickel corner potentially. So, uh, you know, this is the National Football League. It's tough. It's going to be a tough assignment and we uh, have to have a great week of preparation. Do you have an update on Twitter? No, I would say he, he'll be questionable uh, for the game. Who would step into his spot? Uh, I might. I might step right in there. You know, Nevin Lawson is a guy that can play inside. Worley can play inside. Isaiah Johnson can play outside. So we, we have some options, but um, we'll see where LaMarcus here is in the next couple of days. What does Swearinger bring for you guys when you guys get up to speed? Well, you know, I, I like Swearinger. He played for my brother in Washington. You know, I was a broadcaster at, at one point. I spent a lot of time at South Carolina with my friend Spurrier, so I know a little bit about Swearinger. I think he's a good player. You know, he's just got to get um, – he's got to put it all together. That's what he needs to do. And he's got he's to start that process today. We need the very best of Swearinger. And we need guys like Levitt, uh, Fuller. We need these other safeties to step up as well, just like Eric Harris has done. Did you guys put in a claim for Swearinger last December? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Yeah, we got beat out on that claim uh, by the Arizona Cardinals. Um, <clears throat> haven't used a Riley in the secondary since like, the Minnesota game where he struggled. But he's made a couple of real big hits on kickoff returns lately. Let's say about a, a guy that's been in the league that long, kind of out of the picture temporarily at safety to come in and play in special teams like that. Well, produce. yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's encouraging. You know, obviously with Dwayne Harris having been hurt, you know, he's, he's fulfilled a role for us. And uh, perhaps his role will increase. We'll see uh, how it goes this week. Did LaMarcus uh, pull something or what happened with LaMarcus? Uh, he has a, uh, a uh, we're calling it a groin injury. A hamstring, let's call it a hamstring. Hamstring. Sure. Yes, hamstring. <laughs> Final answer. Did you, uh, did you get feedback from Jay about uh, DJ before bringing him in? Yeah, Compton as well. You know, Compton, uh, linebacker, played for the Redskins, had a lot of tackles. And uh, certainly, I, if you don't consult your own brother, who can you consult these days? <laughs> uh, you mentioned previously maybe expanding uh, Worley's role a little bit. Is now a time to do that, or do you like what he's doing? You know, we're, we're, we're trying. You know, we, we made a trade at the corner position, and uh, Joyner's injury um, might put that uh, on hold. We'll see where Isaiah is uh, with a full week of practice. Remember last week was his first week active and uh, we didn't even have a full speed practice before the Charger game. So this will be really the first time we get a chance to um, see him on the practice field for a full week. You guys started the clock on Mark Ali. Yep, we did today. And uh, NFL rules uh, don't allow him to play until the Kansas City game. So. He'll get a chance to be on the practice field and um, get reacclimated physically to, to what he needs to do to get right. You mentioned Deion's not here yet. Uh, what, what can he bring and what do you guys see in him? We'll find out. You know, he's a talented guy. We liked him at Oregon. We liked his body of work in Seattle last year. We played against him. Uh, we're happy to have him and we need him. So uh, we'll have a better, you know, have a better piece of information for you after we actually get to see him. What, what do you see on the tape out of, uh, of Max from the, from the Charger game? It just seems like you talk a lot about that energy and uh, uh, pursuit. It's really starting to pay off. I mean, that's his game. Like we've been talking about, he, uh, he has a relentless playing style that we like. And uh, I talk about factor grades more than sacks. A lot of people are counting sacks out there. I, Sacks, I put them on a reel. Who, who'd you sack? When'd you sack him? And how, who'd you beat? And how'd you beat him? You know, Crosby's batting down passes. He's getting pressures. I know it doesn't necessarily show up on the stack 
sack ledger, but um, he's impacting the game. And that's that's the big thing that we want from all of our defenders. You guys all set? You guys are even, even with KC now in the loss column in the division, watch the games over the weekend, people starting to take notice of the Raiders. Is that a good thing or something you're paying? I doubt it. You know, I really doubt it. You know, I don't feel like, uh, you know, we can respond to any of that stuff. I just watched the, the Falcons go to New Orleans and, and beat them. Uh, beat them bad you know I think Miami goes on the road pizza in Indianapolis no one really suspected that 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 would happen I, I I try not to listen to the talk shows I was part of that for nine years I turn the sound down we're going to get what we deserve we got a long way to go and a lot of things to overcome and I know Cincinnati I know those players I know those coaches two of them on my staff last year we're going to get their best shot and we better be ready to go uh, or else Yesterday, no game. Do you watch uh, the games on TV? What do you do on the couch? Or you do like oh, we're in here. Yeah, I wish you know. I wish we could uh, go up to Napa and sit on the couch and watch the game. But we had to get ready for practice today, so we studied the uh, the film and we watched a little bit of the Bengals and listened to my friend Rich Gannon announce it. Maybe he'd give us some little uh, some tidbits. But um, pretty much just preparation yesterday.